Alright, so we're going to show you how the new install is on the Cyclone 3000. So, the first thing that you need is, you've got one wide bracket, thick bracket, and then you've got one bent bracket. The reason we have two here is to show you that it comes bent a certain way that works for a 100, but to make it work for a 68 you have to add some bend at the bottom and some bend at the top. So. We're going to ignore this stock 100. We're going to use our pre bent that we already used for this. So, the easiest way to do it is going to be you're going to mount this to the motor first. So, what you're going to need is your two spacers, your two long flathead bolts. There's a tapered hole. You have two holes on either side. You're going to use the upper holes. You want to start with this tapered one feed the bolt through, put the spacer on, and mount it to the motor. On the other side, you're going to take your tensioner, which has a taper, put your flathead screw through there, through the upper hole on the bracket, put your spacer on, and then feed it into the motor. And we're just going to snug this down. I'm not going to get too crazy about it because I'm probably going to want to adjust that chain tensioner. You know, I might mess something up and I'll take this back off again, so we'll see. So the next step is <clears throat> you've got this threaded uh, spacer adapter that goes on the non-drive side and on the inside of it, on one side there's a taper kind of see it's like a lighter color in there. You want to make sure that that lighter color goes towards the inside. So you're going to thread this into the bottom bracket. I'm just going to go like maybe halfway for right now. I'm probably going to have to adjust it a little bit. We're going to take our motor and then our bottom bracket. The thick bracket goes on the drive side. You feed the cartridge through from that side. Thread it in. I'm try to thread it in. Oh, don't forget this is reverse thread. That helps. Okay, so once you've got that snug down, okay. so we're going to take our vent bracket. Like I said, we already re-bent this to make it fit. So Slide that. Oh, actually, I'm getting ahead of myself. You need two, two of these uh, bottom bracket nuts and one spacer. We're going to thread the bottom first one on. We're going to put our spacer on. Put our second one on. And at this point you can actually thread this in more because you're not going to need all these extra threads. So go ahead and get it in there. I'm just going to snug these down. I'm going to make sure those are tight. So you'll tighten that inner one then tighten the outer. Then you're going to take your bracket. You've got two short button head bolts. You're going to install those to hold the bracket to the motor.
Then you got one more spacer and one more nut. Put our spacer on. And then put the nut on. Set it up as high as you can get it, get some clearance, and then you'll just snug this nut down and tighten everything else down, and you're good to go. That's all there is to it to the new uh, mounting system for the cyclone.